Hello, YouTubers. Um, so again, you've seen me talk a lot about board games, a lot in, uh, about Zombicide, a lot about my board gaming group, um, which again takes place at Brave New Worlds every Wednesday. Um, we particularly go to the Willow Grove location, but they already have, they also have one in um, like in Philadelphia, in Old City. Um, if you're ever if you're within um, like the Willow Grove, Pennsylvania area, somewhere around there, um, you know, feel free to shoot shoot me a private message. I'd always be more than happy. We're uh, My whole group is always more than happy to have uh, new members either stop in, you know, for a game or two, or even to join as a full-time member. Um, so, you know, it's, we always feel like the more the merrier. Anyway, um, so uh, when when Zombicide, when, when my, my gaming buddy who brought in Zombicide, when he first started coming, um, he had long ago already painted all his zombies, and they looked really awesome. Um, so my other friend, he actually, um, my friend who's from the gaming group, who's pr probably the biggest zombie nut amongst us, um, he went out and got all the zombicide stuff. He painted his zombies as well. Personally, I've never really had a very artist, very much artistic talent. I've never been good at stuff like that. Um, so when I picked up zombicide, um, I had a feeling like I just would never be able to do it. I, I was almost reluctant even to bother trying. Because um, I just, I, I, I'm not very good with artistic stuff. I never really thought I'd be able to do anything like that. Um, but, you know, after a while, it's just, their, their zombies are so awesome. And the more and more they learn more techniques, it, it looked more and more awesome. I started to be like, you know, i got to try this. I know I'm not good at that sort of stuff, but I've got to just try it. Um, so we eventually, um, one, one of the guys, we kind of got together as a group and, and decided we were going to do a paint day, which is the two... Um, the two guys of the group who had painted their uh, miniatures before, they were going to teach us all their process. Um, so we did that, and, and, and the guys were great teachers. Um, it was a lot of fun, and it actually turns out that I'm a lot better at it than I really thought it was, I, I, I could would ever be. Um, now, I, I do attribute a large part of that to being the fact that the, um, they were great teachers. Um, but, you know, they just, I'm really excited. I'm really happy with the way my zombies are coming out. I, it, they are really awesome. So, um, I'll show you, um, I'll, I'll show you kind of a little bit of the process. So, what you first do is you take the z zombies, um, as they start off, and what you do is you spray them with a black primer coat. After that, you let that dry and spray them again with a white primer coat. The black, you want to get them completely coated. The white, you actually don't need to get them fully, but you want to get them mostly, but you just leave a little bit of, of the black showing sort of like a gray, and that's basically like a shadow effect. Now, once you let the white dry, and you have, you know, the white with sort of like a shadow effect, then the next step um, in, in, in my friends, um, the, my, the guys, their, their process, um, is you do the actual painting. Now, there's two different kinds of types of paints that they, um, that they use and that I use. There's either solid colors, um, or there's what's called um, washes, or, or basically like a, um, what is it? It's basically like a clearer paint, and it gives... Um, when it, it actually ends up looking like really thin when you paint it on, but when it dries, it actually looks really good. It gives a nice, um, it ends up with a nice dark shade, but um, what it does that's different is that it, it leaves a little more of the detail, particularly the shading that you did with the black and the white um, primer colors. It leaves more of the shading. Um, so what I've done, I, I like having a variety. So I have some that are um, using some of the, some of the, uh, so, using all solid colors. I have some that are using the, the washes, and then I have some that are a mix. Um, I also have basically two, two really th three, I guess, different flesh shades that I use for zombies. I kind of like, even, even though technically um, dead flesh doesn't turn green, 
I have always liked that kind of uh, supernatural, un unnatural, like, green zombie flesh. Um, so one of my friends recommended this, uh, um, basically this undead flesh color of paint. Um, or actually, I think it's called dead flesh. And it's like a greenish, so I, I have some of my zombies painted with that. Then um, the other friend has, has um, he's taken, he, he really likes those washes, and they have a couple, there's a sepia, and then one that's called, I think, like, flesh shade. Um, and they're both washes, so it's that, like, clearer. And what it gives you is actually a more natural, but still kind of dead, you know, zombie-looking flesh. So they're, they're both actually really awesome. So you'll see in my pictures, um, I have some of each. Um, so I, I, um, the way I've been doing it, I've, I've just been having a lot of fun painting them. So I've been doing a few at a time. That's not really the most efficient way to do it. Most people will kind of say, like, okay, I'm going to do all the fatties now, then I'm going to do all the runners. I've kind of been enjoying just doing them one by one, just a few at a time, because, you know, I, um... I have a, I'm just having fun right now doing it since I've never done it before. Um, so let me show you. Um, so uh, here are some examples of some of my fatties. And here's examples of my runners. some of my walkers. And at the time of filming this, I've only done one so far, but here is my abomination. So I've actually, um, I've been really excited with how this is coming out. This is something I never thought I could do, so I've been really pleasantly surprised. Um, and like I said, that I really, you know, I, I owe that to these friends of mine, because they, they were great teachers, and they've really gotten their process, like, down. Uh, my favorite part is definitely, you'll see in my zombies, there's always a lot of blood. Um, I like a lot of gore, so my zombies are always going to have a lot of gore. Um, so, you know, this was definitely a lot of fun. I definitely recommend, even if you're, you, you're like me and you think this isn't something you could do, it's not, I recommend you at least give it a try. It's a lot of fun, and, and you know, it's not too. It's really not as hard as it seems. Okay, thank you, YouTubers. Have a nice day.